But yes, it's another weekday in November, so we're playing more mediocre Tolkien games. And uh, I ultimately decided to give up on the Fellowship game because it was just getting more and more and more and more tedious. We are now moving on to the games based on the movies. Uh, but of course, we're still playing Game Boy Advance ports because that's just who I am. Should I play it in Italian? Probably not. Grip tonight. I assumed their thing was handheld games. Look at these great GBA fire effects, fire title effects. <laughs> Multiplayer. Do I have to, like, plug my Game Boy Advance into someone else's Game Boy Advance to play multiplayer? Oh, I... I love this chiptune Howard Shore. Oh, I can... Aragorn, Gandalf, Roto, what would I this? Yeah, Ao you can be Aowyn in two towers, can you? Okay, so no Gimli, no Samwise. That Aowen frame looks like they caught her off guard. Like, she looks like her eyes are closed. It looks like an awkward, candid photo. This paparazzi shot of Aowen. I'm curious how this game goes with Aowen. Clips from the trailer here, which honestly look higher resolution than the real player video. I would have been watching them online. <laughs> hey, wait. The enemy is approaching and we have little time to waste. Would you lead refugees to the safety of the days? If it is your wish, uncle, I will protect them with my life. None of my soldiers can mix strength with sympathy. <laughs> None of them? None of your soldiers can mix strength with sympathy? Sounds like the Rohira really suck. And this is what my people need most right now. They have been through much. Far too much, Uncle. If only I could have convinced Aomer and his soldiers to stay, we might have prevented some of this pain. <laughs> yeah, you're playing as Aowen, not Aomer. Oh, I guess this is a flashback. Aomer, where are you going? I had hoped to slip away without my sister catching me. Well, she has, dear brother. Speak up. Word has reached us that the king's son and all his men were ambushed in East Rohan. We are going to investigate. Theodred is in danger? Hold for a moment, Aoma. I am coming with you. Aoma, no, this is too... Hush, brother, there is no time for debate. Who are you? <laughs> That's quite a chop, Aoma has. I guess. <laughs> So I'm gonna guess that this game is like basically completely different, like it's multiple different games depending on which character you choose, because I can't imagine this is where uh, any of the other characters' campaigns start. I feel like the traditional way to do one of these like games where you play as multiple characters is just to have the levels in order but switch off who you're being. Like just have the Aragorn level, then the Frodo level, then the Eowyn level, but uh, I feel like that's the way the the PC version of the Return of the King game was. Like there was there was a Gandalf level and there was an Aragorn. Level. That's how I remember it, but it's been so long since I played it. Make a wide sweep across the plains, but stay within sight. If you find Theodred, signal us. I will. There, that'll show that. Oh, orcs. Well, Eowyn has already killed several orcs. I know it's no Witch King, but uh. I don't know what any of these, uh... Oh! Yeah, well, no. A pile of 14 gems. A pile of 12 gems. A pile of 7 gems. That's as many as 7 ones. Also, these orcs... Honestly, look kind of like... They kind of move like dwarves. Like, I honestly thought it might have been Gimli. Doot. Doot. A pile of 14 gems. Uh, Amber told me to stay within sight, and I don't think I'm doing a good job. Can I cross the river? Well, it seems like it would be small enough to cross, but I guess not. Oh, a pile of six gems in that bag. No? And there's just invisible borders on this side? Cool, cool. I like that he can play as Aowen. It's just like, this is not the movie where her story has the most interesting action. Ooh, King's Foil. They can do it because it was mentioned in the movies. What? I, I don't know what just happened. 
<laughs> I don't know what this is or what I did to it. And that's really what you want out of a game. But, ooh, Warg 2. I also don't know, like, of all the little indicators, I don't know what any of them are. But I'm assuming the red on the side is my health. And I killed Eowyn. And we just start on over. Probably what I'll end up doing is, like, playing just a little bit of each character and not actually getting through the whole game. That just seems like what's going to happen today. This seems like something I should be able to interact with. I don't know. Yeah, you better run, little orc. Ooh, a fine leather jacket. Now I can be in an Indiana Jones adventure game. Lemba spread. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Can I, like, equip them? Objectives. Travel with Aomer to find the king's son, Theodrid. Well, Aomer is, uh, well out of my sight. Aelma has passed beyond my sight, as uh, other characters might say. I like her sort of stride, like, really take advantage of the full dress span and have her just, like, march like that. Don't know if there's a way to uh, equip these things I'm finding, or if I just automatically am using them now. And maybe there's an instruction manual that explains to me how to do this, but, uh... You know I didn't find that. A choker. Oh, good. Eowyn went to Hot Topic. Again, I like that Eowyn is playable, even if this is not the movie where she had the most to do. A cape. Now I'm a super hero. Oh, an arrow pointing this away. Can I go this away? No? Then why was that arrow pointing this away? I have questions for your arrow. Okay, here, here's what we're going to do. Um, the, the Eowyn level is not super fun and i think what we're gonna find is that none of the levels are super fun but let's see how aragorn let's see at least where aragorn starts look you like these characters oh the hell's deep already feels like there was a lot you could have done with aragorn before this point aragorn eowyn if you are going to remain here you'll need a sword she's literally holding a sword theoden has sent me to the caves to protect the refugees i only want to give you my blessing it is an honorable charge. Aragorn, something more than the approaching enemy worries you. What is it? I cannot but wonder if this cursed quest could have unfolded differently. Poor Frodo. Who? He is a friend. A friend I swore to protect before leaving Rivendell. But in the safety of Elrond's house, how could we know what perils awaited us? From Rivendell, we headed east over the Misty Mountains to the Pass of Gr Okay, wait, no, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. So we started in Helm's Deep just to flashback to Fellowship, which again, EA didn't make a game of, but Vivendi did based on the book. But rather than just accept, hold up. From Rivendell, we headed east over the Misty Mountains to the Pass of Caradras. Buckler, sure. Ah, okay, I guess it auto equips when you pick things up. That's good. Oh, hey, why didn't you orcs pick on the rest of the fellowship? A flock of Grabane. From Dunland, perhaps? If allowed to escape, they will alert the enemy. So rather than decide from them, we are slaughtering crows. Eh, too bad we don't have anyone with a bow and arrow who could have taken that one out. Also, I think the enemy is already pretty alerted to us if, if we're slaughtering this many orcs in the pass of Karadras, or en route to Karadras anyway. How long do we have to guard this cursed pass? Shut up. You guard as long as I tell you, pig breath. Pig breath. Well, these two are going to die. Well, at least I don't have to guard this cursed pass anymore. Slashing through the snow, killing orcs to and fro. Or the fields we go. I guess those are rocks, but they look like bags. Okay, I guess that's a health potion. Why are these orcs carrying leather jackets? Are they trying to look cool? Like the Fawns? Orc and Mindy? I already talked about the Gary Marshall Tolkien verse last year. Mushrooms! A pile of two gems. That's a small pile. Does two count as a pile? When I'm picking up food items, am I just eating them automatically and getting all the health benefits then? Because, uh, and, because, again, this doesn't seem to have the RPG elements that the other, that the Fellowship game had. And I'm not expecting these games to play even remotely similarly because they're different developers, but... A gem. A pile of one gem. Hey, where's some, you know, the Fellowship? They ran off ahead with nothing. Oh. Oh, hi, guys. Okay, don't think I've been here. I mean, I guess I get it. Like, if you want a video game based on the movie, what you want to do in that game is slaughter orcs, but... <laughs> okay, I... I didn't realize it was the big statue, which again, should that be here in the past garage dress? I don't know, but just coming up from this angle, I was like, is that the fucking Batmobile parked there? A new sword. It's not like I'm using the shards of Narsil anyway. I could really use a fellowship right now. 
The hobbits are probably already dead. There must be another path. Must there? I don't know that I'd be so confident about that. Well, this looks like another path, but apparently I can't get around those tiny rocks. But also, I'm wasting a lot of time in the Pass of Karadras, considering we're going to give up on Karadras and just go through the mines instead. No more room in my back? Well, where's my backpack? How do I tell my backpack, make room, Bucky boy? I think I'm out of other path. Oh, this is other path. We're wasting a lot of time here in the Pass of Karadras. Which is way more orc infested than anybody realized. Well, this way isn't good either. So what the fuck do you want from me, game? So there's always room for more gems in my backpack. Are we through the Pass of Karadras? I don't know how to access my backpack and get rid of things to give me room for a new sword. Oh, I didn't mean to take that health fountain because I might need it later. But yeah, what you gonna do? Here's another one of these things that feels like I should be able to interact with. Boy, oh, you're a tough... You're a tough feller. Let's do Frodo because that's definitely going to be a different area. Unless it also starts during fellowship. Sam, you're still awake? You should get some rest. I was thinking about Mordor, Mr. Frodo. It's the one place in Middle-earth I don't want to see. And it's the one place we're trying to get to. And with each step closer, the ring gets heavier. Can you manage? <laughs> it was like that that it said, can you imagine? It's like, yes, I'm the one who told you. I'm fine for now. When we left Master Elrond back in Rivendell, was the ring so much of a burden? Oh, we're going back to Karadras, aren't we? Not like now. Back then I had hope still. Enough hope for the whole of the Shire. Yep, <laughs> we're starting back in Karadras. Do you remember the mountains? The peak of Karadras? It seemed then to be the most terrifying obstacle in the world. Well, maybe maybe this will be different with Frodo than it is with uh, Aragorn, but I'm not counting on it. Look at this little run. Frodo should not be killing all these orcs so soon. How do you know about Crobane from Dunland? Also, where are they? I'm just gonna uh, zip on past you fast as I can. Because frankly, I don't want to deal. I definitely keep hitting that guy's shield. Oh, there's a Crobane. Stab a bird in the sky. I'd like to see you try. Also, Frodo is barely scaled down next to the orcs. At least compared to how Aragorn was. My goal is to go down. And Frodo's dead. Let's see who else starts in the Pass of Karadras. Again, we got a cutscene on Helm's Deep here. It does my heart good to be so close to the mountains, Legolas. This is quality rock. And unspoiled as Moria was. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Gimli. Master Elf, are the approaching Uruk High giving you second thoughts? No, Gimli, you must realize, even if we succeed in winning this war, the elves will fade from Middle-earth. How bittersweet victory will be for my people. Yes, not all are leaving these shores. This is a fight for all of Middle-earth. True enough, Gimli. When we left Rivendell, I was not so glum. Elrond's speeches have a way with even the hardest hearts. Yep, back in Karadras. Our first steps over Karadras Mountain seemed promising. I mean, if they're anything like every- Oh, but I got a bow and arrow this time, so that might be more interesting. Do I still have to- Can the bow and arrow not- Okay. Or I gotta stand in exactly the right place for him to just- Swing the bow at them instead of shooting an arrow. Perfect. Love it. A flock of Crabane. They may alert the enemy of our presence. Why were the orcs carrying Lembus? It seems unorc like What angle are the arrows going at? If I actually kill all the Crabane, does that make this part easier? I guess is the question. Like, if I actually kill them all, will there be fewer orcs? Because when the one flew away, that's when, like, the notification of the eye popped up in the corner... Is it possible to kill all the Crabane and then have Sauron not know I'm here, even though I've already faced orcs before I faced Crabane? I don't care enough about this game to really know the answers to that. Sandals, those will help in the snow. Elves murdering orcs. Hey, as an elf, shouldn't Legolas have higher defenses than the other characters? Legolas is dead now too, eh, but since I respawned right where I was. I might as well just keep going, but I'm just gonna book it. Because what you have to understand is I'm not actually getting enjoyment out of the gameplay. All right, that's the wrong way. Why did I waste that health potion fountain? Well, this game is stupid. Now, for completion's sake, I should uh, do one round as Gandalf. Both starting at midway through Fellowship and having these um, character choice parts was dumb because... Yes, these evil times, Gandalf, the last days of my house are near. This is Saruman's doing, Theoden, not yours. His rage is potent, yes, but you can defeat him. But our strength is gone. My best soldiers have gone with my nephew, Aomer. True, their faith in you was diminishing. But there is still some time to set it right. The throne has been restored. 
Yes, your, com your coming signals a change. Was it luck or fortune that led you to my hall? Perhaps a little of both. And flash back to Karadras. In my heart, I knew some danger awaited me, but I knew not what shape it would take. Like a Gandalf flail. Also, it's funny how you can die when this part is being told in... When you're telling this part in flashback. These Gravain are angels, agents of Saruman. We cannot let them escape. Flailing at a bird. Come back here, Gravain. Well, one of them escaped. Why does it fall upon the Flayer character to make sure the Gravain don't escape? Couldn't the rest of the Fellowship help? Gandalf does seem to be the most powerful so far. Wacky Weeby Inflatable Arm Flailing Wizard! Wacky Weeby Inflatable Arm Flailing Wizard! Wacky Weeby Inflatable Arm Flailing Wizard! Those would be useless for a hobbit, but slightly useful for a wizard. Whoa, hey, whoa, sudden loss of health there. There we go. I was gonna say how Gandalf's definitely been the most powerful so far, but then there was that abrupt loss in health, and I don't know what triggered it. The Aeon level was kind of, like, hard to find my focus, but at least it was something different than the same level all the other uh, characters have me do. I do appreciate that it was different, but I also blame it for giving me false hopes that every character would be interesting. Or, if not interesting, at least provide variety. But nope, every other character is the same fucking thing, and Gandalf's dead. Well, that's it. I'm done with this game. I will not be continuing this game, even if it gets interesting later. I have no interest in continuing this game. Uh, tomorrow we'll be live on the main channel with something else that's not this. Until then, this is Dave, signing off. Ooh.